just finished reading uh, week number 19 of our two-year Bible reading uh, calendar here. And so that takes us, having read Numbers 15 through 22 and Psalm 51 through 63, and I'll tell you what, I greatly enjoyed it. It was an action-packed week in the Bible reading there. In Numbers, we had the gainsaying of Korah. We had Aaron's budding rod, it budded flowers and almonds. We had Moses, he strikes the rock in disobedience to God. We have the brazen serpent that Moses lifted up in the wilderness. And then to top it all off, Balaam's donkey talked to him. So talk about an action-packed week in the Bible reading this week, and I greatly enjoyed it. But our Bible reading spotlight today comes out of Numbers chapter 16, verse 9. Let me read that to you. The Bible says, Seemeth it but a small thing unto you that the God of Israel hath separated you from the congregation of Israel, to bring you near to himself, to do the service of the tabernacle of the Lord, and to stand before the congregation to minister unto them. And to give you a little background, uh, chapters leading up to chapter number 16 have been dealing with and speaking about how God wanted the Levites to be separated unto himself. God called the tribe of Levi, he called them and separated them and called them the gift to Aaron. And so they were to be the helper of, of course, Aaron the priest. And they were to be the ones that served in the tabernacle. And so God had set them apart. And what had happened is Korah, who was a son of Levi and his company there that was with him, their service to God, what God had given to them to do, their responsibility had diminished in their own eyes. And because it had diminished, we find that they had also been slacking. They had, their holiness had been lacking. And so pretty soon their, their responsibility to serve the Lord had diminished and they wanted something bigger. They wanted something better. In Jude, it refers to it as the gainsaying of Korah and his group there. But it had diminished and they came to Moses and they came to Aaron and through gainsaying, through sly speech, they were desiring that they could have the preeminence, that they could be lifted up even higher. And so Moses makes that statement to them, seemeth it but a small thing unto you that the God of Israel had separated you from the congregation of Israel. And so Moses had spoken to them, do you not realize how great of service God has called you to? And I think the challenge here for us from this passage is that we have been given something to do in service for the Lord, and we need to be careful that we don't let that seem small in our own eyes. Because before God's eyes, it is what he's given us to do. And whatever that task may be, whatever that place may be, be faithful in your service to God. Don't let it diminish in your own eyes because what happened to the Korah and to those that were with him is they had allowed that to not be so important in their eyes. And whenever that had become less important and whenever service to God and what God wanted them to do had diminished, then they began slacking and they began their spiritual walk, their holiness also paid the price and took a great toll and we find them coming and challenging Moses, challenging Aaron and ultimately challenging God and wanting what God did not have for them and ultimately it ended up in them being punished and judged and swallowed up in the earth and so our challenge for us today is to not let our work be diminished in our own eyes and that we would stay faithful in our service to God. And so as we do that, let us also stay faithful to the reading of God's Word. Next week we'll be in, or actually it's this week, we're in Numbers 23 through 29 in Psalm 64 through Psalm 73. And as we stay faithful to the reading of God's Word, let us remember to meditate on the Word of God.